happy birthday. I'm going to read you a book. It's called The Greedy Triangle. It's about this guy, the triangle, and he doesn't like, well, he, mean, uh, he likes being a triangle, but he wants to have more sides. And it was written by Mar Merlin Burns. Okay. Once there was a triangle that was, as most triangles are, always busy. This triangle spent most of, most of its time holding up roofs, supporting bridges, making music in the symphony orchestra, catching the wind for sailboats in their sails, being slices of pie and halves of sandwiches, and much, much more. The triangle's favorite thing to do, however, however was to slip in place when people put their hands on their hips, like this. That way, I always hear the latest news, is there? which I can tell my friends. The Triangle's friends liked hearing the latest news. One day, the Triangle be began to feel dissatisfied. I'm tired of doing such the same old things, it grumbled. There must be more to life. So the Triangle went to the local shapeshifter. How may I help you, the shapeshifter asked the Triangle. I think if I just have one more side, the Triangle said, my life would be more interesting. That's easy to do, said the shapeshifter. Poof. The shapeshifter turned the triangle into a square. Life changed in a wonderful way. The square was very happy with uh, all the new things it could do. The square could be a baseball diamond on first, second, or third base. It could be a position on the checkerboard or on a chessboard. It could be a television screen. It could be a computer screen. It could be a movie screen. It could frame pictures and much, much more. The Quadrile's favorite thing, however, was to read the pages of a book. I owned so many interesting stories that way, it said, which I can tell my friends. The Quadrile's friends liked hearing the stories. They're used to telling the stories. But one day, the, qu the square began to feel dissatisfied. I'm tired of doing the same old thing, it grumbled. There must be more to life. So the Quadrile square went down to the shapeshifter again. How may I help you to the shapeshifter again to the square? I think if I just one more side, the square said, my life would be more interesting. That's easy to do, said the shapeshifter. Poof! The shapeshifter turned the square into a pentagon. Five sides. Life changed in a wonderful way. The pentagon was happy with all the new things it could do. It could be a baseball diamond. The pentagon could be a home plate. It could be a section on a soccer ball or appear inside whenever someone drew a five-point star in the middle. The pentagon's favorite thing to do was to be the headquarters of the United States military near Washington, D.C. I heard all the top secrets that way, it said. It's too bad I can't tell them to my friends. The pentagon's friends couldn't help feeling left out. After a while, time seemed to pass slowly for the Pentagon, and it became dissatisfied. I'm tired of doing the same old things, it grumbled. There must be more to life. So the Pentagon went back to the shapeshifter. So you're back again, the shapeshifter said to the Pentagon. Now what do you like? I think if I just one more side, the Pentagon said, my life would be more interesting. That's easy to do, said the shapeshifter. Poof. The shapeshifter turned the Pentagon into a hexagon with six sides. Life changed in a wonderful way again. The hexagon was very happy with all the new things it could do. The hexagon fit in as a floor tile in a house in pat patio patios and fancy crackers at parties and picnics. It worked as at the as the socket of the certain bolts and prongs of certain wrenches. The hexagon's favorite thing to do, however, was to be in the cell of a beehive. I love watching the bees as they buzz in and out, said the hexagon. The hexagon spent so much of his time in the beehive, it was too busy to talk to his friends. Friends missed the hexagon and couldn't help feeling ignored. Again and again, the shape became restless, dissatisfied and unhappy with its life. Again and again, it returned to the shapeshifter for more sides again and again. The shapeshifter agreed to turn it in one more shape after another. 
a heptagon, an octagon, a nonagon, a decagon, and so on and so on. Finally, the shape had many, many sides and many, many angles. Its sides were too, so small that it had trouble keeping its balance. Its friends couldn't tell which side it was on and began to avoid the shape. It's almost a circle now. One day, when the shape was going downhill, it began to roll. Faster and faster it went, screeching around corners, crashing into fences and trees, colliding with bicycles and terrifying walkers. At last, the shape came to a stop. It felt tired and dizzy, lonely and sad. Enough, said the shape. I don't want the, to be this side up and this side down. I can't keep my balance. My friends don't want to be around me. The shape couldn't, could, not want, could no longer remember why it had been so unhappy as a triangle. Very carefully, it made its way back to the shape shifter. Aren't you happy yet, said the shape shifter? I want to be a triangle again, said the shape. I'm not surprised, said the shape shifter. Poof! The shape shifter turned the shape back into a triangle. The triangle was delighted to have its own shape back, and again it kept itself very busy. Once again it held up roofs, supported bridges, made music in a symphony orchestra, caught the wind from sailboats, became slices of pie and halves of sandwiches, and much, much more. Still, the triangle's favorite thing was to slip into place when people put their hands on their hips. That way I always hear the latest news, which I can tell my friends. And his friends loved hearing the latest news the triangle came back with. I hope you liked that book, Jonas. I really liked it when I was younger. Happy birthday!